Hey everyone, Pastor Jeremiah here to walk you through how to sign up for our online church directory. Uh, hopefully this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial, and of course, if you have any additional questions, you can always contact us in the church office. So, we're starting here looking at a standard Google browser. Uh, what we're going to do is go up and type in the, the website directory uh, for the website uh, address for our link, which is members instant church directory dot com and we're going to go there and as we get to that website eventually here we go uh we see that this is already signed in with kim, with kim warren but we're not going to do that because we're signing in for the first time so create login it's going to take us to this new page uh and so here is where you're going to want to enter whatever email address we here at Calvary have on file for you. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's whatever email address gets sent your financial statements for, for financial giving uh, throughout the month or throughout the year. Uh, and if you don't know what it is, or if you need to change it, you can contact us in the church office to do that. Uh, but for today, we're going to be using the communications email to kind of walk through this. So I'm going to type communications at calvarybemidji.org. And then I need to create a password. Well, geez, what kind of password do I want to do? I'm going to say uh, Martin Luther Rocks, all one word. And then we need to confirm that password. Martin Luther Rocks, all one word. And I submit. And then, oh, oh I messed it up because my password needs eight characters and at least two things of capital letters, numbers, and symbols. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete what I typed in there and delete what I typed in there. And I'm gonna type capital Martin Luther Rocks exclamation point. And let's try that again. So capital Martin Luther Rocks exclamation point and submit. Leave it like that. It did. Okay. Now it tells me uh, that I need to check my email because there will probably be a verification that comes through this. So I'm going to go to our communications email. And important thing is that we refresh our email to see if it comes in because sometimes it takes a little bit of time. And you also want to make sure that you check like your junk email folders and that kind of thing too. Uh, so I don't see it here, which means I'm going to go check my junk email. Oh, wait, maybe it's other. Let's see. Bear with us here as we check our email. There we go. Hey, look at that. Instant church directory. Confirm your church directory email. So I'm going to click on that, and this is what you'll see from that email. Please verify your email address by clicking on the link below. And so I click on the link below. That takes me here to the church directory page again, where it'll say, okay, we're good to go. We're gonna enter in our newly verified email address. So I'm gonna delete Kim's email address here, type communications at calvarybemidji.org. And the password that I created was capital Martin Luther Rocks with an exclamation point and I'm going to sign in. So that now takes us to our Luther, our church directory page. Uh, and from here, we can edit our own uh, situation. So it goes up to the top of the screen here, the upper right corner, where we can click Edit My Family. Uh, and that should, since I'm logged in, take me to what my address is and all of this fun stuff. Now, we here have updated um, all of what we have in church windows as far as addresses, phone numbers, and that kind of thing, which is why you're using your own email that we have on file to log in. So when you log in for the first time, you'll see whatever address, phone number, and information that we have uh, for your family already, uh, and you can change that. So say, for example, I'm no longer living at the church address of 2508 Washington Avenue Southeast. I can change that. Maybe I'm living on Sesame Street. One, two, three, Sesame, I can't even spell, Sesame Street. Uh, and so that is a change that I'll need to make for, for where I live, and then I'll eventually submit the edits. Uh, I also can add a photo of my family. So if you have a family photo saved on your computer somewhere, you can choose the file. 
Then when you go to there, you go to wherever it was, ours will say is in the downloads, and we're gonna pick family picture, not JPEG. Open that up. And hey, there's our new family photo for Calvary. Uh, and so whatever photo you pick will show up there. Then once you have everything updated to what you want it to be, uh, you can add your anniversaries, you can add your birthdays, you can add parents and children. So like, for example, if my family at communications has a child, I can click on that and I can add them as James as the name of our child. We can add email addresses if we want, but certainly not required. So I'm just gonna add James and save that. And then we see that James is listed as one of my children. Okay, so then if we've got all the information we want updated, we hit this button on the bottom called Submit Edits. Woohoo, your changes have been submitted. Uh, and so what happens from this point is that those changes are sent to our office where they are confirmed and then eventually they'll be up on the directory. So that's how you sign up for the directory. Uh, and of course, how you can use it is when you're on, uh, log in to, to the, the church directory, the institute directory, you can go to families and you can see all of the different families that are part of Calvary. A lot of people have not yet had a chance to update their information, but there are a few. So let's see if I can find somebody here who's got pictures. Here we go, it's the Eichmanns, look at that. Wonderful, what a wonderful family the Eichmanns are with their picture and all their information that's updated here. And the cool thing is that you can use the um, the phone app as well. So anytime that you are out and about with your phone, which is often all the time, uh, you can just pull that out and make use of the phone uh, app as well. So that's a basic update for how to uh, get signed up for the Instant Church directory and of course, at any time. If you have more questions, you can contact us in the office, and we're always happy to walk you through any steps that you might be missing. Thanks a lot, and we uh, look forward to seeing everyone update this.